In 2022, scientists won the Nobel Prize for proving something so shocking, it challenges the very nature of reality itself. The universe isn't real until someone looks at it. But here's where it gets truly mind-bending. What if your consciousness isn't just observing reality, but actively creating it? What if every thought you have is literally reshaping the fabric of existence? And what if I told you that time itself might be an illusion, with this moment existing simultaneously alongside every other moment, in a vast structure beyond our comprehension? The implications of these discoveries reach far beyond physics, touching the very core of what it means to be conscious, to be human, to exist. By the end of this journey, you'll never look at reality, or yourself, the same way again. In 1927, at the historic Solvay Conference in Brussels, the greatest minds in physics gathered to debate something extraordinary. Albert Einstein and Niels Bohr stood at opposite ends of a divide that would reshape our understanding of existence itself. The question seemed deceptively simple. Is reality real when we're not looking at it? Einstein, holding firm to his belief in a logical universe, famously protested, do you really believe the moon isn't there when you're not looking at it? The answer, as we would discover nearly a century later, would shatter Einstein's common sense view of reality. In 2022, three physicists won the Nobel Prize for proving something that Einstein himself refused to accept. The universe is not locally real. But what does this actually mean for you, for your consciousness, for everything you think you know about reality? Let's break this down. Local means that objects can only be influenced by their immediate surroundings, like a ripple in a pond affecting only the water it touches. Real means that objects have definite properties whether we observe them or not, like believing a tree in a forest exists even when no one's there to see it. The Nobel Prize experiments proved that at least one of these must be false. Either information can travel faster than light, instantly connecting distant parts of the universe, or objects don't have definite properties until they're observed. Think about that for a moment. Either everything in the universe is instantly connected, defying our understanding of space and time, or nothing is truly real until consciousness interacts with it. Both options fundamentally change everything we thought we knew about reality. But this is just the beginning. To understand why this matters, why it changes everything about how you perceive yourself and your place in the universe, we need to explore one of the most famous experiments in quantum physics, the double slit experiment. When scientists fire individual particles at a screen with two slits, something impossible happens. Each particle seems to go through both slits simultaneously creating an interference pattern, as if it were a wave of possibilities rather than a solid particle. Here's where it gets strange. When we place detectors to observe which slit the particle goes through, the interference pattern disappears. The mere act of observation forces reality to choose a single path from the countless possibilities. Your consciousness, your act of observation, collapses an infinite wave of potential into a single definite reality. This isn't just about sophisticated laboratory equipment. Observation can be any interaction that reveals information about the system. And this leads us to a profound question that will change how you think about every moment of your existence. What role does consciousness play in creating the reality we experience? Some physicists, including Nobel laureate Eugene Wigner, have suggested that consciousness itself might be the key to understanding quantum mechanics. If particles don't have definite properties until they're observed, and observation requires consciousness, could consciousness be fundamental to reality itself? Could your mind be literally creating the world around you, moment by moment? But the strangeness of our universe goes even deeper. Einstein's theory of relativity revealed something equally profound. Time itself might be an illusion. Instead of a universe where time flows like a river, imagine a vast structure where all moments, 
past, present, and future, exist simultaneously in dimensions beyond our normal perception. Think of it like this. Your entire life, your birth, your death, this very moment, they all exist at once in this higher dimensional structure. What we perceive as the flow of time might simply be our consciousness moving through these pre-existing moments, like a spotlight illuminating different scenes in an eternal film reel. But if time doesn't flow, what moves our consciousness through these moments? And could this movement be more flexible than we imagine? This brings us to perhaps the most revolutionary discovery about human consciousness. Your brain might be a quantum computer more powerful than anything we've ever built. Sir Roger Penrose and Dr. Stuart Hameroff proposed that structures within our brain cells, called microtubules, aren't just cellular scaffolding. They're quantum processors performing calculations that exceed the processing power of all the world's supercomputers combined. Inside your skull, right now, these microscopic tubes might be tapping into quantum phenomena, allowing your consciousness to interact with the fabric of reality itself. Every thought, every intention, every moment of awareness might be a quantum computation affecting not just your brain, but the very nature of reality around you. When you understand that your brain could be performing quantum computations, phenomena like intuition, creativity, and even consciousness itself take on new meaning. That gut feeling you sometimes get. It might be your quantum brain processing information from across space and time. Those moments of inexplicable knowing. They could be your consciousness tapping into the quantum field that connects everything in existence. This leads us to an even more radical possibility. One that could explain everything from synchronicities to the power of collective intention. What if individual consciousness isn't isolated within our brains? What if it's part of a vast, interconnected quantum field that permeates all of existence? Physicist Amit Goswami suggests that consciousness isn't produced by the brain, but is fundamental to the universe itself. Just as light can behave as both a particle and a wave, consciousness might be both individual and universal simultaneously. Your thoughts, your awareness, might be individual waves in an infinite ocean of consciousness. Studies on collective consciousness support this idea. When large groups meditate together, measurable changes occur in their environment. Random number generators show unexpected patterns during major global events. The implications are staggering. Our collective thoughts might literally be shaping reality on a global scale. So where does this leave us? We're discovering that reality isn't what we thought it was. The solid, objective world we experience might be more like a shared dream, shaped by our collective consciousness. Every thought you think, every intention you hold, might be influencing the quantum field that underlies all of existence. Think about what this means for your daily life. That job interview you're worried about, your thoughts might be literally shaping its outcome through quantum interactions. That goal you're working toward, your focused intention might be collapsing quantum possibilities into reality. Every moment of your life might be a collaboration between your consciousness and the infinite possibilities of the quantum field. But there's more. If our brains are quantum computers and consciousness shapes reality at the quantum level, what are the limits of human potential? Could we learn to consciously influence quantum probabilities? Could we tap into the vast field of universal consciousness to access knowledge and abilities we never thought possible? The more we understand about quantum mechanics and consciousness, the more we realize that the universe is not just stranger than we imagine. It's stranger than we can imagine. But perhaps that's the most exciting part. Every scientific discovery points to a reality where consciousness, your consciousness, plays a fundamental role in creating the world we experience. As you go about your day after learning these truths, remember, you're not just observing reality, you're participating in its creation. Every thought, every intention, every moment of consciousness might be shaping the quantum fabric of existence itself. The question isn't whether reality is strange. We know it is. The question is, 
what kind of reality will you choose to create? And if this video shifted your perspective even a little bit, give it a like. It helps spread these ideas to others who might be ready to question their own reality. Share it with someone whose mind you want to blow wide open. The quantum field responds to collective consciousness. So let's build a community of people who aren't afraid to explore the deeper mysteries of existence.